Okay, this is a nonlinear system of equations. It looks like this right here. Both of these equations right here are not linear equations, so that's why we call it a nonlinear system. We want to solve the system, so we want to find all the ordered pairs that satisfy this equation and satisfy this equation. So I'm going to do it on my iPad, so let's take a look. Okay, I'm going to solve this by substitution. I'm going to take this value of y right here and substitute it into the other equation where I see y, and I'll end up with x squared minus 2 times y, which is x squared minus 3, is equal to 2. Now I'll simplify x squared minus 2x squared plus 6 is equal to 2. Now I can write that as negative x squared is equal to negative 4, or x squared is equal to positive 4. That tells me that x is equal to negative 2, or x is equal to 2. And that will give me my two solutions to the equation. So I can substitute either of these values for x back into either equation to get y. So let's use this equation. So when x is equal to negative 2, y is equal to negative 2 squared minus 3, 4 minus 3, which is 1. So that tells me that the ordered pair negative 2, 1 is one of the solutions to the equation. If I do the same thing with the other value of x, that is 2, I'll end up with the second solution, which is x equal to y equal 1. So those are my two solutions to this system of nonlinear equations in two variables. Okay, so you can see that by solving this system right here algebraically, we get these two solutions. So what I want to do now is go to the computer and go to our graphing program, Desmos, and get a visual confirmation that these are the two solutions. We'll solve it again by graphing and see where these solutions show up on the intersection of those graphs. So let's go to the computer now. So here I have the Desmos program, and I've inputted the first equation right here. Let's input the second equation, y equal x squared minus 3. So y equal x squared minus 3. Okay, and then when you look at the graph, you can see that, sure enough, that's the point negative 2, 1. That's the point 2, 1. And so our graph is consistent with the solutions that we got when we solved this algebraically.